I love selling directly to the people that are going to eat my food. That's what's fun. And I think if anybody in our country, in our world, should be eating the very best food we can provide, it should be young kids. What an investment in good health. I think I'm going to stop right here. Um, this is the squash patch intermixed with rows of sweet corn. And uh, we grow the sweet corn um, with the squash because the sweet corn, first of all, the deer and raccoons prefer the sweet corn, so they leave my squash alone. And the other nice thing about growing sweet corn uh, in, or, in or amongst the squash is that it prevents squash bugs and cucumber beetles. So I'm going to put my gloves on and get my pruner. So we're coming into some butternuts here. I would have to drive, if I wanted to do all my marketing in the Twin Cities, I would be driving a whole day up there and delivering and back. But I have tons of schools within 10 to 30 miles of me. And the amount of product that they can take could be my whole farm. We want to serve great food, but we want to serve great food that the students like and that they're eating because we know that academic success is directly tied into the nutritional choices that they make every day as well as we as adults make every day. And so it's super important that the products we serve are also being consumed during the meal period. So farm to school in Minnesota is relatively new. If you look back maybe five years ago, there were only a handful of schools that were making a point of purchasing locally grown foods. Now we're up to 125 districts, um, so that growth has been very strong. So it really is new for most schools and also for most farmers as well. I think local food is a great way to go for healthy lunches and um, just increasing nutrition within kids because if you build pattern, good patterns of food now then it could result in better food patterns later in life. I think it's fantastic. I mean, um, I mean the, more, the more we can buy from local farmers, I mean the more local business we're you know, encouraging and I think that's what we need. Um, also it's just healthier for the kids and that's, you know, that's, ultimate, that's the ultimate goal. And what we're hearing from the farmers is that schools are attractive clients because they have the potential to be purchasing year after year after year and their demand tends to be fairly predictable because the student headcount is fairly predictable. So they have the potential to provide a very solid and reliable market for farms. And what's so nice about it is I don't have to bag, I don't have to label, I don't have to bunch. I can just pack everything in bulk and make a few trips and sell a lot of products. So that allows me to offer a more competitive price. I think it's the biggest potential market for produce for local farms that we have.